What's good, GoofTubers? It's your boy D, aka Mofa guy, back again with some more Dead Zone action. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back for some more Dead Zone Dose. I hope everybody's doing good. So, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm gonna share a little story. A little story with you guys. Story of Melbourne's voice command. How did I became the voice and did the voice commands for Melbourne? Um, so just wanted to share this little story with you guys and uh, you know go from there because this is it's actually a pretty funny story how everything you know came about and how coincidence things were you know while you know MFG you know trying to make uh, Melbourne and you know coming up with the voice commands and uh, bringing a person from the community to the voice command but before that as always the gameplay that you guys are watching took place in Gemini port this is the gameplay that I was actually talking about in my last video where I was one kill away one motherfucking kill away to hit 50 kills I would have been the would have been the first person to hit 50 kills in this fucking map but man oh man did my teammates got greedy you know like usually i don't get connected with good team members and i was kind of fucking happy that in this game i'm not you know connected with good team members but apparently some of the team members you know disconnected a later time and a good person a good player got connected a later time and he just fucked me up big time he just kept taking kept shooting at my fucking kills keep giving me fucking kill assist and that fucked me up big time if you guys will see in the end i literally had like four to five fucking kill assist i mean that guy was shooting at my fucking kills i'm shooting at that fucking kill and ended up getting fucking kill assist and fucked me up big time if it wasn't for those five fucking kill assist i would have been the first person first fucking person to hit 50 kills and would have been done with you know me pushing hard at this map to you know get 50 kills in this fucking map you know fuck you guy whoever you were i forgot his name whoever he was but fuck you for messing me up big time but uh, you guys will see in the end it actually happened in the end because uh, that guy actually got connected in the in the almost the last few moments of the game and he kind of messed my fucking um fucking kills and you know took all my fucking kills away from me fuck you <laughs> I'm just pissed. I'm just pissed. I'm happy that I got like 49 kills, but I wanted 50 kills. Motherfucker. Now I have to try again. Until fucking, you know, map starts to work again and, you know, they fix the fucking game or patch it. While talking about the uh, topic of patch, uh, MFG is still working on it. Uh, I don't have any word where they are in terms of the patch, how far they are, or when can they release the patch, whatnot. <clears throat> but, um,. Uh, you know, it's the same thing what they basically told us the last time or what I basically you know, talked about in my last video last time that they are working with the Unity guys and once Unity, you know, fix things up on their end, they will basically release the patch. So hang tight, you know, twiddle your fingers, do whatever you got to do or bitch to MFG and tell them how shitty of a job they are doing <laughs> and, and how shitty of a developers they are and all that kind of good stuff. You guys know what to do, but uh, they are working behind the scene and they will patch it soon as they fix things on their end so that was that about the gameplay and the freaking shadow and dead zone patch news info and uh yeah so let's move on to the melbourne voice commands melbourne how did i become the voice for melbourne so there's actually a funny story behind it it all started when mfg you know made a post on their facebook on shadow Gun facebook that uh um, that they're bringing us a new skin in the next update. They basically had that blank um, picture on their Facebook in which they were like, yeah, this is a skin that you guys are going to get um, in the next update. And um, when I, you know, looked at that skin, it clicked me because I have actually played the original Shadow Gun. Um, it was long, long, long time ago. And uh, as a curious gamer, I did some research on my end about the game in general and you know to just to learn more about the game just just as a curious gamer and I actually came across the class 3 unregistered mutant which actually looked a lot similar to the blank photo the dark you know uh, shaded photo that they shared on Facebook page and basically you know telling us in that post that this is a skin that we're gonna get so once you know things clicked in my head I was like okay seems like this is the skin that they're gonna bring um, 
I made like a, you know, a speculations video where I was like, you know, what type of skin that we're going to get in next Shadow and Dazzle update. And I basically, you know, um, you know, made this video where I was like, you know what, seems like this is the, this is the skin that we're going to get. You know, I gave my, you know, thoughts and opinion about it, you know, shoot a whole lot of shit. And I was like, fucking A, it seems like, yeah, this is the skin that we're going to get and it'd be fucking awesome. Um, obviously, you know, in that video, I was, you know, oblivious and had no clue that I was actually right about this is a skin that we're going to get. Um, so once I made that video and I made a post on my Facebook page, I was like, yeah, so this is a skin that we're going to get. And it'd be fucking awesome if I could get to do the voice commands for this skin. And uh, when I made that post, Mike, Mike Schbleka or Mikhail, Mikhail, that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's how you say his name. Roman was correcting me on uh, on YouTube. He was like Michal, Michal, with ha ha ha, Michal. Sorry, Michal. Um, so Mike, aka Michal, um, he reached out to me on Facebook. He was like, uh, "Yeah, watch your video. Um, spot on. Good job on fucking you know speculation and telling everybody. Yeah, this is the skin that you're gonna get." Then he was like, seems like uh, somebody from the office reached out to you and uh, told you that, uh, you know, we are looking forward to bring you aboard to do the voice commands. I was like, uh, 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 no, because so once he told me that, that they are basically, you know, considering to bring me aboard to do the voice command, I was like, uh, no. He was like, you know, stop bullshitting me. I know Miguel probably reached out to you and he told you, I was like, uh, Mike. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I was just shooting shit. I had no fucking clue that you guys were, you know, thinking to bring me aboard to do the fucking voice commands. He was like, are you serious? I'm like, yes. I was just randomly shooting shit. I was just, you know, you know, planting the seeds in case you guys, you know, you know, haven't found anyone to do the voice commands. I was like, you know, I was just basically planting the seeds. If you guys haven't, you know, found anyone, I'll be more than fucking happy, fucking happy to do the fucking, um, you know, voice commands. He was like, well... If nobody has reached out to you, then uh, consider me reaching out to you and telling you that we are thinking to bring you aboard to do the fucking voice commands. I was like, fucking A, dude. Fucking A. Because Mike, in his head, he thought that somebody from the office reached out to me. Because my speculations in that video was spot on, like he said. He was like, yeah, I knew about the skin. Because, you know, I do know people who work in Madfinger games. I do know Miguel. I do know Jaco, but do know other people uh, behind the scene, you know, who are working on the game and stuff like that. So I do have contacts with them. So he, he, that was his thinking that somebody may have reached out to me and told me. But uh, I was like, no, Mike, nobody reached out to me. You are the first person who's actually telling me that you guys are thinking to bring you aboard to do the fucking voice commands for Melvin. And that was just like a complete you know, random thing ever. But yeah, that's what happened, you know. You know, Mike reached out to me thinking that somebody reached out to me uh, from the office and told me that I'm doing, I'm gonna do the voice commands and I'm just, you know, making a video about it. And he was like, you know, just keep it down low. And he, you know, you know, reached out to me like, just keep it down low, don't tell anybody, you know, and we'll go, we'll work on it at a later time. So that was a little story I wanted to share with you guys and tell you guys how things, you know, came about. Me not knowing that they already, you know, already made their mind to bring me aboard because, you know, Mike already, you know, spoke with Miguel and uh, Miguel gave him the green light and uh, he was like, uh, Mike was like, he was going to reach out to me uh, once everything is, you know, good to go. But me making that video and, you know, just shooting shit, <laughs> making him think that, you know, somebody already reached out to me because, you know, because I don't blame Mike because, you know, Miguel, everybody know Miguel. Miguel just, you know, it's just like very, he's full of enthusiasm. He, it's hard for him to contain himself, you know. So he just can't hold himself, you know, since, you know, Miguel and I are friends. So he thought that, you know, it's a possibility that Miguel already reached out to me and, you know, told me, da, da, da. But he didn't at that time. You know, he was just keeping it down low. I was just shooting shit. <laughs> and poor Mike thought that... <laughs> that somebody reached out to me and you know messed his plans up but no it was just like a complete coincidence you know me being random and just you know stars being aligned perfectly <laughs> and happened to fucking you know become the fucking voice of fucking melvin so this was a little story i wanted to share with you guys tell you guys how things came about and how i came to know that i'm going to become a voice of melvin and actually going to become part of the game forever forever no matter how much you hate how much you cringe i am the part of the fucking game i never thought like in like million years that i'm gonna be the part of the fucking game you know i started playing this game like in 2012 you know started from the beta you know stuck with it for like 
for the longest time ever. I'm still playing it right now. I still play this game as if it was my first time, you know, coming across this game on the on the App Store and, you know, falling in love with it the, the way I did the first time when I, you know, uh, started playing it. So I still played the way, I still played, I still played that way. You know, I still love this game, even though this game has so many problems with it. I just fucking love it. It's easy, it's fun, and I just fucking love this game. I met a whole lot of fucking awesome people in this game. You know, it was fucking awesome knowing all of them, you know, and uh, met some, you know, fucking douchebags as well, some jerks as well. You know, I mean, it's the part of the game. You, you're you supposed to meet all type of different people all the fucking, you know, time in your life. And uh, I did happen to meet some of the players, good players, bad players through this game. And uh, I'm still friends with them, still friends with most of them. And it was fucking great, great experience. And, uh, you know, definitely, definitely looking forward to more of this experience in future Um including with Shadowgun Legends as well. So, like I said, just wanted to share a little story. Just wanted to tell you guys how I became the voice for Melvin. Um, after, you know, Mike, you know, break that uh, news down to me, he was like, yeah, well, well, now you know you're the boy, you're going to be the voice of Melvin. And uh, we did a voice chat for like two, three hours uh, uh, to basically come up with the voice commands. Um, I wanted the voice commands to be more vulgar and, you know, have to be, I wanted to be, I wanted them to be like a certain way, but Mike already had planned in his head that how he wanted to do this thing. And uh, he just didn't want to mess things around and, you know, do it do things differently because like i said he already planned it he wanted to do things the way he already planned it so I was like you know what? that's cool with me he wanted to bring the essence of dr simon and melvin because you know he dr simon created melvin so we just went that way that route that mike planned it and uh, it it panned out perfectly i loved it most of the community loves it and uh, it was fucking awesome so just wanted to share a little story with you guys just wanted to tell you guys how things you know um came about behind the scene and how random things can be sometimes you know sometimes you just you know shoot shit about something and you know next thing you know that people were already thinking about it you know what i mean so yeah that was that i hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay the story if you did definitely drop a comment subscribe share like definitely 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 hop on this thursday for the next war room stream because in this war room stream we're going to get to see we're gonna get to see the multiplayer battle uh in shadowgun legends the player versus player mode so definitely definitely hop on and you know check it out yourself if you can't definitely watch on the youtube channel later time and go from there but i'm gonna be you know watching it and i'm definitely gonna you know give my thoughts and opinion about it and uh, go from there but but like i said that's all in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it you guys know the drill and i'll see you guys next time Peace! Motherfuckers, yeah!